Hello, Venaru, uh, Varangal. Guys, how are you? Okay, I like that. I like that. Okay. So let me tell you that A, I'm not prepared. B, I don't care. All right. So I, I think I probably be talking about most about technology. And before I start doing that, I want to have a quick understanding that how many are from uh, technology background. Just, 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 just raise hand. All. Okay. And how many are not from technology background? Awesome. Awesome. I think that makes my job easier. All right. So even before I uh, start talking about what blockchain is or, or you know, how it's changing the world, I would rather talk about, start talking about how the world was. Uh, so when the entire uh, civilization started, uh, how do we used to live? We used to live mutually deciding the rules, the laws, the way we communicate, the way the finances has to run, right? And the way things have to manufacture. It was all mutually. So 50, 70 odd people, you know, living in a small place, civilization, they know each other, right? Everything is sorted. But this became a problem when the world expanded. The world expanded. It became million people, it became billion people. Now you cannot know everybody. One person at max can remember 140 to 150 pe people. That's it. How do you ensure that whatever you're talking, whatever you're saying, interacting or transacting, you're doing it with the right person? Because you just cannot know everybody. And hence, the power eventually was given to some central parties. For example, banks, governments, right? So eventually what happened, so if you look at the West, there were churches which used to lead the entire society. In our country, it were kings, right? And in a lot of other com you know, countries, it was, it was an army or an army chief. So was this good? Probably at that time of uh, the you know, humanity, it was right. Because there was no other way to streamline things happening in this world. But then, this was a power you know, given to this one party or a person or the king by the people. Was it misused? Drastically misused. Was it abused? drastically abused and then then came internet then came internet so when internet came into picture the power now started getting decentralized so when i say this word term decentralized it means so anybody sitting here today can actually impact the government of the country through a post through a video through a news article, anything that you share, correct? But then, even today, the maximum power is not with us. Are we true a democratic world? Are we, are we truly a decentralized world? Not at all. The government still have the maximum power. The banks control your money, right? Uh, the war decisions are made by your army chiefs. And I, I don't want to you know, take country's name. And then there are people, or rather families, who control the countries. Why I'm giving all this gyan today is because the word, the technology blockchain is taking us back to the world which it actually should be and we were. Which means to a world wherein the power is in hands of me and you. So any money today which you own in your bank account, tomorrow, if the bank decides to go off, you don't have the money anymore. You can't claim it. Tomorrow, the government says that the currency which you use today, after 12 PM, it won't be usable again. <laughs> you can't help it. 
let's go a step ahead they say all the money which you have is not yours anymore it is ours can you help it you can't and has it happened in the past yes i again won't term the country so one fine day the government decided that 40% of the assets of the citizens will be confiscated and the reason given was to stabilize the economy what makes you think that that cannot happen today again it can so my point again here is that the technology blockchain i'll not get into technicalities in detail actually the word blockchain is actually bringing back decentralization and power back to the people now let me try and explain as in as simple way of, as possible what blockchain is okay first of all blockchain is not bitcoin it is not bitcoin it is just like saying that hey uh, email is internet no email is an application probably which we created to, uh, through internet it's like saying hey internet is whatsapp or facebook no so blockchain is not bitcoin is bitcoin dependent on blockchain definitely is is the most popular application of bit uh, of blockchain bitcoin yes but that's okay so today on internet what is most popular probably social media but that is i mean that's not internet in total it's probably what 5% of it so now if you want to understand blockchain let's assume there is a very powerful magical ledger register we all know registers yes where we do entries so just assume there is a powerful magical ledger register which of of which a copy is with everybody in this room the magic of this powerful ledger register is that the moment i make an entry in my copy or in my register in all of your registers it will automatically reflect provided if all of you or majority of you approve it and the second power or of this magical register ledger is that if even if i am the original author of the book i myself cannot delete it now try and connect it with the banking system today energy commodity manufacturing so it becomes so decentralized and so mutual that even if the reserve bank of our country decides that this money which you hold is not going to be yours they can't do it if you decide that you have to send 1 rupee or a 1 or 1 1 million rupee to your friend nobody will be able to charge you in between because today it seems that you have sent 100 rupee or 10000 rupee or whatever money from your mobile app to your friends app friends account it happened over a snap and you believe that it it's it's peer to peer but my dear friend that's not it you do it on your app it goes to the bank the bank says okay do you have the money do you don't have the money they verify it they process it so you're actually seeking permission from the bank to transfer your own money you are seeking permission from the registrars of this you know of your state to transfer the land which you own you are seeking permission from the universities on the okay i am in a university but i'll, I'll still take this you know on me you are seeking permission from the university on your own degree certificates that please give it to us can you verify it to my employer why why can't we have that have that power with our own selves 
let me come to healthcare so more than more than 4 million people die every year 4 million people die every year because of counterfeited medicines fake medicines now you'll be thinking what is blockchain to do with this so fake medicines and expired medicine consumption how can you stop that so today when you buy a medicine right what is the best way you can ensure that it is it is right it is not fake or it is the expiry date is still there by looking at the back yes there is a date behind it how are you sure that the date is real what makes you think that it is real just because it is some popular brand now blockchain what blockchain is doing to this entire industry is it is streamlining the entire supply chain of medicines so you as a consumer will be able to quickly scan you know the back side of your medicine and see that where did the origin of even the raw material of that particular medicine started do you think saving 4 million lives a year is a noble job yes no so if something is able to save 4 million jobs my dear friend it's time to please support that and learn more about it okay now let's 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 come back to india let's see we still kind of understand that there is more than 20 odd percentage of our country which is yet to be electrified which doesn't have electricity right why is it that happening to our citizens so if you as an individual you as a household can help a family which doesn't have electricity would you not be eager to do that and you're not doing it for free my dear friends you'll get paid for it but today you're not able to do it because you eventually have to approach the lcd department there has to be a power grid without that it it can't happen yes and then there has to be the uh, the entire you know gamut of economical you know financial things which has to be taken care of but now with blockchain if there are two houses in a village wherein one can afford electricity and can create electricity through solar and has excess of it it can transfer it to the house which doesn't have it and it will automatically and the person generating the energy will automatically get paid for it too and on a subsidized rate because you eventually don't need a central party to control it how many of us want throughout our life that there has to be somebody who have who has to control us i am not somebody who wants any i mean any, on any time of the day where i i have to be controlled and why so then why are we letting the entire economy to be controlled by few major players so my point again here is it's time that we take back the power and it comes to our own hands before i close on to my talk i'll talk about something which is relevant for the students sitting here it's actually a product which is developed by us and is already deployed now when you get your degree certificates it is in a hard copy format yes you have a unique number right and then there is an entry you know along with, with the university with the registrars with your academic institutions and everything now when you go and apply for a job they have to do your background verification check right which starts with your educational verification how does it happen so you print out a copy of your certificate you go and give it to the employer yes now they will hire an agency to go and verify that do you exist have you studied in that university 
is that an original certificate are those grades right or not and how do they do that it's through offline methods or at max today it is happening over calls or emails yes eventually what makes you believe that every certificate which the university has announced is original and not fake there are 27% of the bachelor's degree in our country are fake now let's go a step beyond you apply for an overseas job awesome right let's let's go to middle east let's go to the us now the entire verification process will take at least 45 to 90 days because you gave it to your you know point of contact here right they they sent to the, to the employer in the us then from there to the embassy embassy to our embassy you know then the verification bodies so on and so forth and eventually if it ends out that it's it's not 100% original the job and the opportunity goes for a toss but with blockchain your degree certificates across the country will be on one common platform you become a global citizen your verification of your certificates will happen in 45 seconds just through an api a scan my dear friends do you all want to be a global citizen and be ready for opportunities which is anywhere there in the world yes. then please come join hands let's blockchain the world thank you